Named after its seven-foot-long spikes, Spinosaurus was one of the biggest carnivorous dinosaurs ever to walk the Earth. It was bigger than Tyrannosaurus and Gigantosaurus. Spinosaurus lived during the Cretaceous period that took place around 100 million years ago. Spinosaurus was one of the strangest dinosaurs that we know of, and it's the only one that was semi-aquatic. It hasn't been around for a very long time, since the end of the Cretaceous period. But what if Spinosaurus managed to survive through the mass extinction of the dinosaurs, like other crocodilian-looking creatures, and had lived on until modern day. That's what we are going to talk about right now on Life's Biggest Questions. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that makes the impossible possible. I'm your host, Charlotte Dobre, and make sure you smash the like and stay subscribed. Spinosaurus means spined lizard, and it was first discovered around 100 years ago in Egypt. Spinosaurus kind of looked like a giant crocodile with a big sail-like fin on its back that could extend seven feet or two meters down the length of its body. Scientists believe this sail could have either been a way for Spinosaurus to ward off enemies as well as attract a mate. According to National Geographic, Spinosaurus was a giant swimming dinosaur, the first known. It had paddle-like feet and nostrils at the top of its head, like a crocodile, and they allowed it to swim on the surface very easily, and also to submerge itself. Its head was also very similar to a crocodile's. It had long, slender jaws and cone-shaped teeth. Scientists believe it was pretty bad at getting around on land and spent most of its time in the water, in rivers. Spinosaurus was known to have eaten giant prey like sharks, as well as crocodile-looking creatures. If Spinosaurus hadn't gone extinct, it would have undoubtedly disrupted ecosystems that included crocodiles. Seeing as the first fossil of a Spinosaurus was found in Egypt, the Nile would have been one of the places it lived. Spinosaurus was known to have inhabited North African swamps and rivers, which happens to also be an area infested with crocodiles today. Crocodiles are also very ancient creatures that were alive during the Cretaceous period, but strangely enough, they did not go extinct when the massive KT extinction took place. So why is this? Well, there's a few theories, but the main theory is they were very well adapted. Crocodiles haven't changed much in their 200 million years of existence. They dwelled in the water and were cold-blooded. They would have been able to go long periods of time without eating prey, unlike dinosaurs. Additionally, crocodiles grow a lot more slowly than dinosaurs. Mammals were able to survive the mass extinction because they were smaller. Same goes for crocodiles. But if Spinosaurus hadn't gone extinct, crocodiles would have a pretty big problem on their hands. Spinosaurus, because of how big it was, had virtually no predators to worry about. Crocodiles would have had to compete with Spinosaurus for food. Either that or they would have become food themselves. One of the reasons why crocodiles survived the KT extinction is because they were likely a lot smaller 65 million years ago and could survive by eating smaller prey. It can be said that if Spinosaurus didn't go extinct, crocodiles might have. Either that or crocodiles might have evolved to be land dwellers, not water dwellers. We know that Spinosaurus was adapted for being in the water, even though it could go on land as well. But on land, it moved around quite clumsily. If crocodiles had existed at the same time as them, they may have ventured out of the water away from Spinosaurus. In modern day, there might be huge land-dwelling crocodiles that feasted on small mammals instead of fish like they normally do. This would wreak havoc on the ecosystem and would completely change the types of creatures we currently see in Northern Africa. Any creatures that dwelled on the ground would be at risk. Back to Spinosaurus though, if they hadn't gone extinct, Egyptian history might actually be completely different, and perhaps ancient Egyptian civilization would not have taken the same shape. Egypt relied on the Nile. I mean, Egypt was in the desert. The Nile was the source of all life in this area. But if huge Spinosauruses were lurking in the waters of the Nile, those pharaoh boat rides Cleopatra went on with the Roman Emperor Caesar wouldn't have taken place. We would have seen ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs depicting Spinosaurus being captured or killed by Egyptians. Who knows if ancient Egyptian culture would have even evolved the way it did. Without the Nile, it might not even exist. Moving into modern day, if Spinosaurus was still around, perhaps poachers would have wanted to hunt it down for its fin, selling them on the black market to be made into purses or shoes, much like how crocodiles are hunted for their hide to make shoes, purses, and other goods. This may have driven Spinosaurus to the brink of extinction anyway. Don't you just love humans? For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre, and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you will love our playlist clickable on the screen right now. If you want to catch up with me, my Instagram handle is posted in the description of this video. And make sure you subscribe to notifications by clicking the bell, and we will see you in a future episode of Life's Biggest Questions. Oh, 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 oh,